My name is Kelly and I'm one of the educators with Biowater Solutions and I'm going to show you a plugin today for batch permissions on Koha. This plugin was created so you can assign permissions by a patron list. This will easily allow you to do many staff members or Koha users that need the same permissions to be added more easily than going into each individual account. As with all our other plugins with Koha, we have the, um, our plugins are available to download on our GitHub site. This is github.com backslash Bywater Solutions. This is the Koha plugin batch permission modifier. You would just go ahead and download that um, plugin to your Koha site. If you do need any assistance with that, we'd be happy to help you. Where you can see your plugins, you can go through your Koha administration. And down at the bottom, you have Manage Plugins. And I have this Batch Patron Permission modifier here. All the way over to the right, there is the Action button. Our first um, step, we need to look at the configuration just so you understand some of the terminology I'm using as I use it. So we have what's known as a template patron, and then the template permission mapping. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a template patron for the permissions to live on. And then we're going to create a list of those people that need those permissions through patron lists, and then we'll connect them through this mapping tool. So our first set, first is to go ahead and create that patron. I'm going to go ahead and do a um, circulation depending on your system however many things that are required what you have is your borrow mandatory field you would need to, to fill out I guess it is required It looks like I have that require a strong password put on. So I'm trying to remember what my password is. <laughs> Uppercase, lowercase, numbers. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save this patron. Um, and I'm calling the circulation template. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and set those permissions for what my circulation staff members need. So I'm going to go ahead and click some of these. They're going to need to do the circulate. They're going to need their patron and their holds. I'm not going to edit the catalog. They are going to do patrons and funds and fees. And they're going to do lists. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now it's important when you're setting these up that you note the borrower number of your template. My borrower number can be found right here. So it's borrower number 77. It can also be found up in the URL. So I'm writing down 77. Now what I'm going to do is create my list of patrons that I'd like, or staff members, that I would like to have these same permissions. So I'm going to go to my tools And go to my patron lists and I'm going to create a new list circulation save now I'm going to add people to my list Patron. Add that patron. Okay, so we have two people on our patron list. 
I'm going to go ahead and open this in a new tab just so you can see they don't have any they don't have permissions currently set up. Let's go ahead and grab um, over to Alex's account. No permissions at all. Okay, my next step that I need to do is I'm going to go back to my um, lists. Now we need the list number. So I'm going to go ahead and click my list. And I can see now I have that patron list number five. Okay, so now I'm all set up to actually configure my plugin. So I'm going to go back to my administration page. Go back to my manage plugins. I'm going to go back and configure. Over here on the right, drop down under Actions. So now here where I put Template Patron, that was my patron number 77. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in, it says borrower number 77 colon space patron list pair 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and save and continue. Okay. Now I could have multiple template patrons, I can have multiple mappings as well. So I am all set. So now let's go back to my, um, well, let's just go ahead and go to Alex. And Alex will be set up now with the permissions that I've determined by my um, circulation template. So I have this permissions, this patron's permissions are controlled by the permissions template patron circulation. So I can actually not change Alex's permissions. I know that he is controlled, his permissions are controlled by this template, which allows me to link over to actually see it. So I can go ahead and open it up and um, make sure that this is, these are the correct permissions. If I needed to change any permissions for this circulation group, I would come to this template, change those permissions, and then that would be updated on the through the, the plugin. There's no need to go back into the configuration as long as you are good with the patron template and the list. At any point, you could add more patrons to your list and allow them to have those permissions at any point, you can remove those patrons from your list. If you did need to add more permissions to a specific member of that list, you would need to remove them from the list to go ahead and do that. So let us let me go ahead and do that so you can see that um, workflow. So maybe my Alex um, staff member has, um, oops, I went to the wrong list, has moved on to cataloging. So I'm going to go ahead and take him off my circulation staff list. And then when I go back to Alex, I'm going to refresh. It may take more than just a ref it may take more than just a moment to go ahead and do that. So I will clear out and go back in. And now I can go ahead and assign those permissions. So he has been taken off of the patron list and therefore been taken off the circulation template and I can add any permissions. However, if I go back to um, the other um, patron on that list, we can again see if we go to their permissions that they're controlled by the circulation template as well. There you go. And that is how you can use that batch permission plugin that was created by Kyle, one of our developers with Bywater Solutions. Thank you for watching. This tutorial is a production of bywatersolutions.com. Have a great day.